two techniques, how to do an approximate match using XLOOKUP and how to do the same thing in Power Query? All right, let's take a look. Classic example of using an approximate match is a tax rate table. I used to be an accountant in a previous life. Okay, so we're gonna do an equals X lookup. We're looking up the $50,000 in this table here, but you notice there's no exact matches. We're gonna do an approximate match, comma. And I wanna bring back the base tax level. Okay, comma, comma. And that's the match mode, which is exact match or next smaller item. So 50,000 comes down here, goes, oh, what's the next smallest item? 45,000. It's going to return the base level of 4,288. Okay, so minus one. Close the bracket, press enter. So 50,000 gets you a starting point of 4,288, which is essentially the tax, 16% tax on the difference between these two figures. Not that you have to care. Right, then this is lovely with, with X lookups because I can just go in tables, control C, control V. I then want to look up the threshold. So where's the cutoff here? So I want to bring back, not the base, but I actually want to bring back, if I type a T, and let me move this out of the way, Okay, there's threshold, tab, really good if you only give you, don't put spaces in your headings. Um, okay, so that's the threshold. So then they're paying the marginal rate. So let's look up that, control C, control V. Okay, so they're going to bring back the tax rate. Press enter, control space bar, home. Percentage, okay, those are the percentages they're bringing back. And then we're going to say, right, what, how much over the threshold are they? 50,000 minus 45,000. Okay, so they're going to pay 30% on additional on that 4999. And then the total tax equals this plus the base tax. Beautiful. So there we go, an approximate match that minus one, okay, works an absolute treat. Again, used over and over again, okay? So, how do we do it in Power Query? Well, we're gonna pull this table in to Power Query, and we're gonna pull this table in, and we're gonna do an append. Hmm, interesting. So not a merge, an append. So, let's pull this table in. You could go right-click, get data from table slash range. But I'm going to go to my power tab. I've just created this ribbon, right click, customize ribbon. Okay, and I've added some lovely little buttons. So from table slash range. And I'm going to say close and load to connection only. Now I've already changed my default settings. So under file, options and settings, query options. Okay, I've already set these to data load, specify custom default, okay, and don't have either of these ticked. Why wouldn't you tick fast data load? Doesn't make things any faster, really. Okay, click OK. Right, so if I just simply click close and load now because of those settings, mine just loads as a connection. Okay, then I want to come to this table. Again, go to my power button and say from table slash range. But again, you can just right click or you can go to data from table slash range. Okay. All right. So let's just go here from table slash range. There's my table tax. Okay. Now, here comes the little helper bits. Okay. I'm going to add an index column. Bear with me on this. So index column, custom, starting at one with zero increments. Okay, that's the first column. I'm gonna to go to my table salaries. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time two. So custom, starting at two, increment in zero. Click okay. And 
I'm going to do a bit of sorting in a minute, so then I want to just be able to resort this. I happen to have the employee numbers, but they're never in that order, so I just want to return this order. So I'm going to add an index column this time, just from zero, or you can just click on index column. And this is going to be, I'll just rename it here. This is going to be my call my sort order. Cool. And we're done. So what do we do? Well, we're going to start with table salaries, home, okay, append queries as new. And I want to append table tax and click OK. All right, so I've got salaries and thresholds. Ah, right, I need to have a column called salaries in my table tax. So I am going to right click and duplicate this column. And again, I shall just rename this as salaries. Was it salaries or salary? It was salary, oh, come on, win. Okay, so salary's got to be exactly the same. All right. So there we go. Now we've got the appended salary down here. And here comes the clever bit. Okay, so we're going to sort by salary, sort ascending. And then we're going to sort our index ascending as well. And by doing that, what we're saying is, okay, here is the salary, here's your threshold, and here's your rate. And you can highlight these three columns and fill down. Right click, fill down. And now I've got the thresholds, the base and the tax rates for all the right values. Okay, so we can then filter out the um, indexes with ones. So right click, number filter, does not equal. Okay, great. And we don't really need that, but I'll get rid of the columns I don't need at the end. And the sort order, I can sort now potentially, sort ascending. So we're back in the same order as we were originally. Okay, so then what I can say is, right, let's take the um, salary and we will deduct the threshold. So highlight those two, add column, standard, subtract, salary minus threshold. Okay, so that's going to be the excess. And I'm going to take the excess, I'm going to multiply it by the tax rate. So highlight those two, multiply. And this is going to be called the excess tax. And I'm going to take the excess tax and the base and add them together. And that is going to be called my final tax. And then all I need to do is click on employee code, name, salary, and final tax. Right click, remove other columns. Home, close and load, close and load two. Or oh, actually give this a name, let's call this final calc. So close and load two. Table, existing. I can't load it to an existing worksheet because it's trying to load table tax as well. So I can't do that. So connection only. And then right click, load two. Table, existing worksheet. Uh, let me throw it just down here. Click OK. And here we have 5787, 1887, 56137, and so on. So there you go, an approximate lookup with Power Query. May be useful, may never need to use it, but I have come across it. I need for it once, and it was invaluable. All right, hope you find that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video. Before you go, check out one of my other videos or playlists and click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.